Astro makes it super easy to work with integrations and frameworks. But when working with these frameworks, you may ask yourself, how do I manage my state or share that state between components and frameworks? Astro has solved this problem by using a great library called NanoStores. And Astro makes it easy for us to implement and get started with. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple note taker that makes use of NanoStores and shares state between a React and a SolidJS component. To start, I'm going to assume you have an Astro project up and running. If not, npm create Astro at latest and follow the step-by-step -step instructions and then add your favorite framework like React using npx Astro add React. We then want to install nano stores for React or your preferred framework. To do this, run npm i nano stores at nano stores forward slash React. We will then go ahead and create our notes store. This is just a simple JavaScript file. Inside this, we're going to make use of the atom from nano stores, and this can store strings, numbers, and arrays. Since we're going to create an array of strings for our notes, this is the perfect use case for atom. We then want a way to add notes to our store. To do this, we'll create a function that expects a note. We'll then call notes.set, give it a new array, destructure the previous one calling .get, and then using our note argument, add that to the new array. This is just in order to avoid mutation. Then we're just gonna log the node state by calling .get again. And then we just need to make sure that we export both of these from our store. Right, let's go create our new React component. We're gonna call this note add button. Inside note add button, I'm gonna have a label, an input, and a button. We're then going to use the use state hook to keep track of the changes of our text input. So now every time that the user changes the text input, we'll call set user note and update that state. Then this is where we start to use our store. We're going to import add note from our node store. And then on click of our button, we're going to add note and then pass in our use state user node to the add note. And now that we've got a component, we can import that into our page and make use of it and then make sure to use client load. Otherwise this won't work. Now, if we go ahead and run and look at our application, every time I add a note, we can see it logging in the console. Now, we want to be able to see our notes added to the DOM. So how do we use our store and show that? We're then going to import notes from our note store. Then we make use of the use store hook from nano stores react. We can then use this notes variable and map over them and show them in the DOM. Now, when we go back to our page and click add, we can see our notes being rendered. Okay, great. We've created our nano store and are able to add to it and show those values in the DOM. But now, can we share state between different frameworks like React and Solid? So let's figure out how we actually do that. So first we need to make sure that we add Solid to our project. So just like we did with React, we're gonna do npx astro add Solid. And we also need to make sure that we have the nano store for Solid. So that's going to be npm i nano stores at nano stores forward slash Solid. Now that we got all the dependencies for Solid, we can go ahead and create our notes components. And then just like we did in the React component, we're going to use the use store hook from nano stores for solid JS. We then pass our notes from our node store into the use store hook, and then we will loop over each of our notes and render those to the DOM in a list. Now when going back to our page, we type in a node, we click add, and we can see it's been added to our solid JS component. Now, not only have we created a way to manage our state, but we've also created a way to share that state across our components as well as frameworks. And this is really powerful and super simple to do. And that's really it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.